What's up everyone, Ninja here from NTP, back again with another Naruto statue. Today, we have my personal favorite character in the entire series, Neji! So, Neji, I don't like, why I like Neji so much, I don't know, I like, I like how his fighting style is. It's just kind of like pinpoint accurate kind of thing, where you can paralyze an enemy by just hitting him a couple different times. I think that's really cool. Also, the fighting games helped a lot when I was a kid, because I had a couple Naruto fighting games as, as a kid, as I probably mentioned in, like, the Naruto video here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and Neji was my favorite character in the in the game. So, I immediately just started, like, loving him in the show as well. So, yeah. So, I tried to do him a little bit of justice here with his uh, pre-time-lapse uh, version. As you can see, way over there, you can see... Uh, the uh, Naruto Shippuden version of Neji, as you could with Rock Lee, as I mentioned before, but we're not going to focus on that today. We're just going to focus on the, like, younger version of him. So, here we are. Let's get into the dimensions. Waste no time at all. The legs here are 8x4x12. By by the torso is 8x4x12. By by the arms here are, are attached or aligned to the torso, and they are 4x4x12. Four by four by and the head here is 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight with a hat effect. It comes down in front by 3, as you can see here. Uh, his headband thing that he wears, it comes down 3 on both sides in front. And then in the back, his hair is very long and it comes down uh, pretty far here. I don't know the exact number. It looks like 2, 4, 6, about 8. About 8 down from the very back of him. Um, so there's that. Uh, I will give you a shot with the hair, and then I'll actually remove the hair, and um, then we'll, uh, yeah, then I'll just show you as it looks with that, like just show you the back of him. Um, anyway, so let's just go and get into the details here. Uh, oh yes, before I do, as always, there will be pictures in the plastic texture pack at the very end of this outro, so if I go by a little too fast, totally understandable, um, you know, check that out, check it out if you have any struggle with it, or... You could skip this entirely and just go there, I guess. Um, up to you. Up to you. Anyway, let's just get into the details here. So, starting off with the shoes, as usual, we have blue. The skin is birch wind planks. The wrap, he has entirely one leg that's uh, wrapped up in uh, bandages and stuff. And that is uh, his left leg there. Or I guess if, we're, if we are looking at it from this perspective, it's the left one. But in reality, it's actually his right leg. Um, but that's white and light gray. The pants that I went with him, or the color that I went for the pants, is a spruce wood. And then the wrapping around his one leg there is just white and black. A lot of these colors wrap around, as you can see with the shoes and the pants being the spruce wood and the blue. The wrapping on his leg also comes around kind of with this pattern with the white and the light gray. And then you can see the kunai pouch there with the black. Uh, it just kind of just cuts down the middle of that wrapping on his mid leg there. Come around here this side, the white and the black. They wrap around as well as the spruce wood and the blue uh, of his shoes. And then the wrapping around the one leg is also here. Wrapping around with this pattern with the white and light gray. And then he also has the other leg showing completely with the birch wooden planks. Um, the birch wooden planks, the spruce wood, and the blue all wrap around on the last leg here to kind of show you um, just how simple this is. Um, so it all just kind of blends together there. And moving on to the front of the body here. So the front of the torso, let me go ahead and angle it down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so, itching my nose, hang on. Blah. All right, so skin is birch wooden planks. The wrapping is also on his, from this perspective, left arm, but if we're talking about his actual arm, it's his right arm. So basically right arm, right leg are wrapped completely in gauze. And that is again, white with light gray. The shirt, that I went with him for this is uh, actually smooth sandstone. So that's that's what I ended up going with. It felt, I didn't want to go with sand necessarily. I don't know why I didn't want to just go with sand, but I went with uh, smooth sandstone instead. And then for the detailing on this, I went with oak wooden planks. So I guess if you want to use sand to just make it just plain and simple, you could go with sand. I went with sandstone, I guess just to mix it up and not use sand for once. Um, but either or truly works. Um, obviously the black hangs down and we're not really on the face yet, but this is black. It's covering a little bit of detailing here. Um, 
basically you can line up these with the head and uh, these end where this pattern ends here so that's I guess an indication of where to uh, drop the hat effect but that is that let's move to this arm real fast the gauze of course or the wrapping goes all the way around with the light gray pattern and the white pretty pretty simple outlining on the arm and they also the pattern is uh, oak wooden blanks and the rest of it is uh, smooth sandstone or sand if you're using sand so here's what I said I would just show this shot of the back and then I would take away the hair um, and then I would show you the rest of it so here's the birch wooden planks on one arm the wrapping on the other arm of course white and light gray then we have the oak and the smooth sandstone or oak wooden planks and smooth sandstone pretty pretty simple and then the hair there that is actually I believe that's black stained clay yes it's black stained clay so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and cut it from where I'm at right now I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna take away the hair and we're just gonna show you the rest of it and we'll give you the last shot here of this back and then we'll move on to the other arm and do the face ready go <sighs> all right here we are broke away the hair as you can see it looks very different now very weird in fact and uh, so here's basically this is just the simple pattern on his back uh, that I went with here very similar to the front with just like the uh, circles or whatever just out of the oak wooden planks but yep pretty pretty simple just if you need it there it is all right moving on to this arm a lot of these patterns just wrap around as they did with the other arm so if you made the other arm it's really just mirroring it right across except the one arm is not bandaged up it is just um, birch wooden planks so pretty also pretty easy um, they just cover up the shoulders and we move on to the head so the head here uh, hair of course as I mentioned prior is black stained clay he also has the black going around the headband thing he's got there his eyes are white stained clay and the other half of his eyes are white the skin is birch wooden planks as usual and then the mouth is oak wooden planks so yeah and as, and as we mentioned earlier the little bandana thing that goes around his head comes down three on both sides of his head right in front just kind of just drops down there all right here's the here's this side of the head we have black stained clay with black birch wooden planks and that's pretty much it black stained clay covers really the majority of his head here um, the entire back um, if we didn't have this like this obviously it would cover like the entire thing like going all the way down there like halfway down his back but it covers up the entire back of his head and then this is the other side I believe that I mirrored this across to both sides um, it appears that I did yes so this side is exactly the same as the other side so no worries just mirror that right across with the black and the birch wooden planks and you should be good um, filling in the top with the black stained clay and you are done with Neji or Neji Hugo if I'm doing last names which I really haven't for any of these guys so yes but that is Neji hope you like him hope you like the tutorial if you have any requests, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I, you know, really we just take requests for most of anything. Try to keep it with Naruto, or not with Naruto, but with anime stuff. No need to request Naruto stuff, uh, mostly because I've already got it all made. As you can see far off in the distance, uh, I tried to destroy enough so that they didn't really come into shot, um, or at least get too much detail of each one. But, um, yeah. So if you have any requests, leave them in the comments, and we'll see what we can do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.